Hey guys, so welcome to another episode of Tales of Sisteria. I fixed it. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Anyway, so moderate to hard, okay. Actually, can I change it already? Nope, can Stanley be on hard? Okay, so let's just go here and line up and wait. Those who don't comply shall be punished. You gotta be kidding. I don't have an inspection. Uh, let me just go here. If I make <sighs> the oath, will I get power like Lila's? Don't even think about it. That oath is way more trouble than it's worth. Work on honing the strength you already have instead of relying on that mumbo jumbo and you'll develop special skills all your own. You mean you've got your own skills? You bet I do. Yeah? Like what? Show me. <laughs> you sure you're ready? I'm impressed. Didn't think you had it in you to act like a grown-up for once. Uh, you're getting weird. You sure you want to see it? I don't normally show it to just anyone, but for you, I just might make an exception. Never mind. Forget I asked. Huh. <laughs> it must get lonely, being Mikleo. Mickley only. Mickley Honing the strength I already have. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no, no, no. Uh, okay. Oh, it stopped. Okay, good. Thank god. Uh, okay, let's just go in. I. I am Sergei Strelka, in cooperating to ensure the Empire- Is he always like this, or are his boxers just chafing him? Here you go, our merchant guild pass. We've come to Lastenbell on business, specifically- The Sparrow Feathers, are you? We've got- Ah, yes, bo- we do no Thanks for all- Next, you there. Quite some garb you're wearing. Are you this young woman's guard? Oh, uh, a girl doesn't dare travel alone. Then why does he carry an ornamental sword? He knew that Saray's sword was ornamental? He's seeing right through us. He's less of an idiot than he looks. Wait, there are people watching. <sighs> well, you know, we- I'm asking your go- Crap, repeat after- Please forgive my unquestionably suspicious appearance. The truth <laughs> is, I am- Okay, no, no, I can't do it, I can't. I remember this place was in the celestial record. Let me go around. Wilkis Wilk. Hey, Saray, what does my true name mean? Oh, it means Rose is Rose. Rose is Rose? Isn't that kind of lazy? Is it? I mean, I made it on a whim, but I thought it seemed fitting. It was an urgent situation, after all. Hmm. But Princess Alicia used to be a squire, right? What was her true name? Melphis Amekia. It means Alicia the Smiling. Oh, I see. So it's not lazy. You're just being biased. Huh? How? My smile is pretty gorgeous too, you know. Quit it, Rose. You're scaring me! Rose, that's just how Saray is. Yeah, I know. Maybe his name should mean Saray is Saray. Okay. And I'm gonna save because I haven't saved in a in a while. Yes, this is the one. And not prepared. <laughs> Let's eat something, shall we? Mm, steak. Yeah, let's just eat. Is there any sort of rhyme or reason to what happens when you fuse equipment? Great question, Rose. You're right. There's nothing random in the fusion of equipment. 
Can you just tell it to me short and simple before I fall asleep? Sure. First, the rules for fusing two different equipment skills only apply to those located in the same slot. So it actually does matter which slot each skill is positioned at. Yes. What skill is placed in which slot is a very important factor in equipment fusion. So it's important to... <sighs> well, it's... Huh? Are you asleep? <laughs> God damn it, Rose. Let's see if there's more. Dezel, do you know a lot about ruins? I do have some knowledge about them since I've been around, but I've never been interested enough to explore. It's really fun to imagine what these artifacts have been through over the years. Ponder over our new discoveries, close in on the truth, or expand on what we already know. I do have the ability to sense certain smells left behind in the earth, to detect humans and certain objects left behind since ages past. Whoa, you can sense through smells? Is that something even someone like me could learn? You can learn through experience to a degree, but you need talent if you want to truly master it. I'll try my hardest. Let me know if I overlook anything important. Yeah, as long as I don't get into the way of your precious hobby. <laughs> okay, so we'll learn a new talent. Good. Let's see if there's more. Lila, sit here for a second. What is it? Just take a seat. So, you have a lot of Norman acquaintances, but don't seem terribly interested in Norman. Well, I mean, we're just friends, is all. What the? Just sit down already. Lila, you're underestimating them. Remember, we need to catch 50 of them or else. You really like the Norman, don't you, Edna? You even got one on your umbrella. You kidding me? I totally don't like them. Now, why won't you sit down? The last time I sat down, it was to pull an all-nighter. That's bad for fair skin like mine, so... Good night! Hey, sit down. <laughs> Why does she want her to sit down? Hmm. Hmm. And did they sleep? Okay, I never more. thought I'd see so many Hellions. Kinda makes me feel guilty for not being able to see them before. You should. Ignorance is a crime, you know. So, don't you think the quality of equipment is crucial in surviving tough battles? They also say that true masters don't choose their weapons. But since we're no masters, I thought it might be better if we build relationships with the shop owners and order from them. Yeah, well, they say the relationship only lasts as long as the money does. Yeah, I agree. So what I'm saying is, it's important to build the relationship with the shopkeeper rather than just haggling to get the price down. I can't even tell if you guys are arguing or not. <laughs> yeah, me neither, actually. <laughs> oh, what, what? There was a mouse. Item wandering. Oh, yeah. Water, pierce my enemies. Sharp ice, crack and scatter. <clears throat> if I can just exert control over the diffusion here. <clears throat> Couldn't quite suppress it enough, but I'm starting to get the feel for it at least. Hang in there, buddy. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I thought Miklio was training alone and then Saray was... Anyway. Is there more? Oh my god. Boy, I gotta say, that improv act during the inspection sure was a hoot. Yeah, Lila in particular was getting way into it. To tell you the truth, I've always loved performances like that. I've been wanting to try one out my whole life. I gotta say, that was pretty sweet. Coming up with those ridiculous lines on the fly. We Seraphim have way more experience than you folks. Now that you mention it, that's right. A Seraph's age basically has nothing to do with their appearance. How old are you actually, Lila? I'd like to know that too. I feel like she must be older than me. That's classified. I guess your ad libbing prowess only applies in certain situations. Is there more? Oh my god, is, is there more? Okay, we're done. Whew. I mean, I 
I hope the, f the quality of the food doesn't have anything to do with it. Anyway, so uh, we acquired a lot of talents. Where, where is it? Support talents, yes. So I guess I still don't... Oh, he got the... Uh, this is if you if you want to go around and choose the type of alien you want to encounter. It's pretty awesome. This one is just to get faster. She has item ordering now, so I can actually well try and get what I want. This is uh, so I can sneak around. I'm gonna actually put her. Hmm. You know what? Nah. Okay. She has Normie now, which is good. She has all the same. He haven't learned anything and Reminis. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna actually put it in here. <coughs> Thank God I actually went around it. That pulsing is actually pretty awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. It was all cutscenes, unfortunately. Um, I mean, we did learn something, so yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to me for more content about these games and a lot more. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.